Hello, my name's Roger Muller. We're here today to discuss two machines that on the surface appear to be very similar and indeed in principle are. One of them cuts loose tenons in the form of a block of wood that goes into a mortise that the machine makes. This is called the Festool Domino. These are available in assorted sizes ranging from four millimeters thick to 10 millimeters thick. The biscuit joiner, the other machine, uses various sizes of biscuits that go into a slot that that machine is capable of, of machining and its mechanism is very much similar to a saw, not unlike the curvature that you see here. If you look at the machines, they're very similar in appearance. They have a flat bottom. They have a raised fence that angles. I will loosen this on the Festool and you can use that to control your positioning. Likewise, on the biscuit joiner, you have a similar mechanism. You can loosen this over here and crank, bring this thing up and down. The problem with both of these systems is this placement can be a little hard to remember or index as you come back to a project at a future time later in the day, whatever the case may be. There are ways of doing it. You could make some sort of a block of wood that fit in here and you could get your exact measurement that way. The Domino has a very nice feature in that it has an indexing system or a stepping system that's on the side over here and right, it depends on uh, how thick your material is. You can set that, sliding it in and out, it puts a stop in place so that's nice to have some memory. But I want to point out on each of these machines there's something very unique that isn't obvious to you that is just so handy to use as the predominant alignment mechanism. And that is the fact that in the case of the biscuit joiner, the saw blade is centered on this red line, which is 3 eighths inch above the tabletop. So if I was going to do a 3 quarter inch piece of work, I want to approach it like so, I'm going to be close enough to the center line that I'm basically there. Remember, you don't have to be in perfect center with any of these machines. You just have to be indexed correctly similarly with the pieces you're joining. Okay, so much for that one. Now, what about the domino? The distance from the table to the top of this metal ground surface is 10 millimeters. That is the center line for the bit that protrudes. So likewise, you can use that as your indexing method. Set it on the table, approach the work like so. Okay, various mathematical combinations for various size of bits, etc. What if things aren't perfect and you need to either have this a little bit higher or this a little bit higher? Well, how about having some shims available? I've got everything from one half inch and five eighths inch and three eighths inch and three sixteenths available to me here. And I believe we even got an eighth. Let's take this eighth inch shim. If I, for some reason, need to be offset here, I can do one of two things. I can raise the machine, if that serves my purpose, by laying it onto the, sh onto the shimmed area or spacer, whatever you want to call it. If I want to do a lot of these, I might cut the spacer to the very same size, use double stick tape, and put it down. That very same double stick tape can technique can work right here. Now, what if I need the reverse situation where I need to elevate the work and alter it by one eighth inch. Fine, do that. You could take the double stick tape, insert the spacer down to the table, and work like that on either machine. So that changes your elevation. Okay, you got different thicknesses as we mentioned previously, and all you need to do is just keep track of it. But when you come back a week later, oh boy, how'd I do that? Well, all I used was the 3 inch spacer. Great, easy to remember and obviously very cheap. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this and set you to thinking a little bit different way in how to rig these machines up, be it a domino or be it a biscuit joiner. My name is Roger Muller. Thank you for watching this video.